I felt satisfied. I felt like I was, um, like I had um, landed on the ground after having been in a, a state of some sort of unacknowledged suspended animation for eight years. Um, and if I... Excellent. So it's such a pleasure to speak with you. And it's such a pleasure to have the show back and to have you back with this character. So thank you for, for coming back. Sure. Thanks for saying so. <laughs> so what does it mean? Because obviously we know what the show means to the fans coming back. We know that it ultimately kind of, you know, rights are wrong in some people's eyes. There's obviously the drive in that direction. But what does it mean for you personally to come back to this character? What What's the drive inside of you? Is it really just about that external or is there something that you wanted to continue? Well, I mean, I, I don't... I think there are there's plenty of area in which the audience's um, experience of the way the show ended and my own intersect. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I think I think there are ways in which it was um, dissatisfying, or if uh, dissatisfying, but also just open ended. Um, I think. Um, certain questions remain and sort, certain storytelling opportunities were there, especially after a certain amount of time had passed. Um, opportunities having largely to do with um, the fact that Harrison has become, is on the cusp of becoming a young man. And mm -hmm. if he were to track his father down what would that be like? You know, I think, um, and I think, um, you know, I had the experience of <clears throat> sort of broad spectrum experience when it comes to TV finales, because I did the Six Feet Under finale, which was, you know, wild, widely, <laughs> Six Feet Under, is that what I said? Widely no, I'm saying you know, the Six Feet Under finale was the Six Feet Under finale. It was amazing. Yeah, exactly, which is like the greatest, and then like one of the most sort of um, <clears throat> confounding and if not hated uh, finales in, in the case of Dexter. So I can compare and contrast um, the experience of satisfying closure that I had when Six Feet Under ended versus a serious, a serious uh, an experience of something much more <clears throat> open ended and and in the case of Dexter. So I think ever since it ended, there's been some hope that some story would reveal itself or emerge that felt worth telling and allow me to deal with that feeling. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Well, I'm glad you got to, but okay. Here's a question I'm sure you've asked yourself a lot. What does make a great ending? You know, and how did that inform the way you guys approach this? Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, there are, there are endings that are definitive or, or, or wrap everything up in a bow. There are endings that are definitive in ways that are totally surprising and reveal some fundamental detail that you hadn't been aware of, like, you know, the usual suspects. There are endings like my, one of my favorite movies, Cache, the Michael Haneke movie, which just end on this static image, populated very far away, these characters who we've come to know that are relatively peripheral, the sons of these fundamental characters, and we have no sense of what they're talking about. It's completely ambiguous and gray in a way that's deeply satisfying. So I think, you know, I, I like an ending that, uh, both answers something definitively or gives some sort of sense of um, uh, having arrived somewhere, but also cracks open the world presented by the 
show or the movie in a in a new way and and leaves you to contend with new <clears throat> considerations or questions i don't know i mean <laughs> <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> There's no I right answer. There. I, mean, I don't know. I don't seem to be able to get the end of that answer, so I don't know if I can. No, I mean that's a bit like, what's I mean? Obviously, what's the right ending for Dexter is the real question because right. was the was the conversation more like okay, we need to come up with something that's going to please these fans. We need to make sure that I'm not asked for the next twenty years, thirty, forty years of my life. What was that ending? I and mean, something that people come up and thank me for that ending instead, or was this really about you know what we need to make this right for ourselves? We need to feel it's right, and if they don't think so they can be damned. Yeah, I mean, again, I don't know that those things are mutually exclusive, but yeah. our focus, at least consciously, was not on doing something that would please people. It was more just um, revisiting and dealing honestly with who we understood this character to be in the new world in which we find, find him, you know? Um, yeah. How did you feel once it was over? Um, I felt good. I felt um, I felt satisfied. I felt like I was um, like I had um, landed on the ground after having been in a, a state of some sort of unacknowledged suspended animation for eight years um you know i mean i, I felt i felt um <clears throat> not to say that there won't be more <laughs> who knows but uh no i felt um i felt a sense of satisfaction that that we had um that we had done a good job telling the story that we decided to tell i can't wait to see how it ends and thank you so much for that yeah. great talking to you great to take care, take care. And if I...